Okay, greetings everyone, this is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator 4, Power and Revolution. Uh, all roads lead to Delhi, and I've just about had it. I'm fed up with these uh, countries here in South Asia, and I think I'm going to try to go ahead and uh, conquer everybody at this point. Uh, Cabal, who seems to be defeated. Um, I wonder if I have infantry here. No, I don't. I wanted to move those fighters out. I'm going to hit that air base. I'm going to hit the army base. I'm going to take out everybody. And I'm just going to annex this entire region. I've had it. I tried to be diplomatic. I tried to play the diplomatic role. Uh, the uh, interventionist, interventionist diplomatic, you know, I was trying to support Afghanistan against the Mujahideen. I was trying to give uh, Pakistan uh, a way to retain some of their autonomy. Uh, trying to be benevolent. Uh, but I have a monopoly on global diplomacy at this point because as you've noticed, as you've known, uh, India has been given a seat on the UN Security Council, permanent seat with veto power, and that basically means game over for anyone I want to conquer. Uh, the only way to stop me is if major powers intervened and knock on wood, hopefully that doesn't happen. China, looks like there's a possibility of a cyber attack. Uh, we've launched a cyber awareness program and a uh, security program to protect our uh, administration and our infrastructure against the Chinese cyber attack. China might be next on our list at some point. Uh, that is one of the goals, to eclipse China. Uh, economically, we're nowhere near eclipsing them, but uh, we did eclipse them with population. We have a, a higher population than they do. And I'm looking at two more Pakistani tank columns here. Um, that we're gonna have to take out. They seem to have rebuilt their rebuilt their tank core in like a matter of weeks, not even. Which maybe they bought these tanks from the black market or something like that. Uh, some of our helicopters seem to have made it back. I still have a very large, overwhelming core of fighter jets that is going to knock out all these positions. Cyber awareness security, cyber protection engaged. I'm a task force. Very good. And airstrikes are being launched. Still is a the tank. city has fallen. What the heck does that mean? A lot of intense fighting going around, going on around Islamabad. Take out those guys. Okay, let's see what's going on here. 92. Still seeing some pretty sizable numbers here. Why? Why do? I, why did that happen? What button did I press that caused that to happen? All right, let's see here. Let's take a closer look. Twenty-three, three. We don't need this many fighters going up against them. What happened to all our infantry? I feel like I lost like huge numbers of infantry somewhere and I didn't see where it happened. Take out that guy. There are 64,000 troops still there. Okay, good. Still have a large number of infantry engaging Islamabad. Not worried. 
All right, let's keep it up. Fifty-two. Ooh, we just took out another tank column and some more troops there. Fifteen thousand. Pause here. They seem to be trying to break through these helicopters. Attack this eleven troops. Where's our other airbase? Seventy-four. I guess we are running short on some fighters. Uh, let's see, I have air fighters here, I think. Here we go. Aircraft carrier to just strike against those 74. One hundred fighters here. Fifteen thousand there. All right. The city has fallen. Whatever. Three hundred fighters here. I don't think we need that many. Hit that target. Nope, don't worry about them. Confidential information on Peru. Yeah, we've been getting that for forever. Uh, 800, 185,000 people in Kashmir starting to flee the war. Uh, let's go ahead and put together a refugee camp. That should win us uh, a little bit of support. What the heck is going on here? Army. Refugee camp. Position. Right there. Battle of Islamabad continues. Let's send 50 fighters to take out that target. And give me another 50 fighters here. 50. Take out those five. I don't even need 50 for that, I don't think. I bet one fighter could probably take out five tanks. Is that 11 tanks? Take it out. Good hits. Whew. A lot of fighting going on here. Four of them. Take out that infantry. Airstrikes. Oh my god. We got hit with housing, humanitarianism. Good lord. The bill has been voted on, but unfortunately, the law has not been passed. That didn't pass? That always passes. Mother of God. Okay. Why did that not pass? I should have checked on that, I guess. Well, now we're in trouble. And I think it might be time to increase our 
medical budget here. That's a lot of money. Get rid of that one. Alright, right down the line here should be some cheap stuff. But I think our Minister of Health, Noelle, should be happy with me for this, right? Improving medical care. At least this is something that's under my control. Vaccination services. Fight against AIDS, fight against cancer. Fight against genetic disease, fight against orphan disease. And I think if I get rid of that one, yeah, it's pretty cheap. Two billion, two point three billion. Get a whole bunch of new things added there. And taxes, value added tax cut. Let's check on that. If I cut that, it's eleven billion. That will not get approved. Hmm. What about cutting income tax on the lower brackets? That will be approved. Let's go ahead and confirm that one. And I should have done just the low, lowest bracket probably on that one. What's another thing that everyone would like? I can't believe that housing legislation is. What if we do five dollars more? That should pass. Let's go ahead and get that one. Okay. Took a big hit there. Popularity law rejected. Social, housing, humanitarian. If you don't get those laws passed, you take a big hit. Good job, oldest person in the country. Hold on. Oh, that just improved. All that health care improvement. 21%. I think you're doing a good job. And you're... Let's arrange a meeting and get an endorsement from you. Get me back up into the 90s. Saudi Arabia, you don't need to worry about that. Fighter jet. Take out that tank. Three tanks. Three tanks could probably get taken out by a three-star fighter. Another five tanks there. They seem to be popping up all over the place. Helicopters, take these guys out. Hundred fighters. Three hundred tanks. Intense fighting going on here. Meeting with the oldest person in the country. Sure. That's the way. And. Okay. I invite her to speak highly of me in public, an endorsement. Fighters here. Take them out. Small tank columns advancing. Take that guy out. They've got a lot of forces moving. And what's going on here in Islamabad? 
into the capital. Wow. Pretty intense here. Alright, let's see if we can't just pick some of these guys off. This is tedious, for sure. But I think it was effective last time. I'm just gonna try to snipe them all. Do not throw a grenade at the bunker. That is a mistake that I've made in the past, and I think they mentioned somebody mentioned that on the channel. Because you do that, you set the bunker on fire. And then the whole building burns down and you can't get to the president. You need to capture the president to get the country to surrender. And then you win. But you gotta be able to get to him. Let's see how well these snipers do. Alright. Oh, I guess they're lined up to pick them all pick them all off there. I don't know if I got that guy. Okay, and these guys take him out. Take out that guy. Oh, we've got people all over the place, huh? Take the police headquarters. Parliament. Fight them head on. Okay, let's see what happens. Go to the bunker. Our guys seem to be plowing through a bunch of them there. Aha! Government palace, palace siege has begun! Wow, that was intense. More guys. Let's go. Take them out. Oh man, this has been intense fighting. Wow. There's a lot of them. Sniper fire. Uh, I'm gonna try to get some more commandos in here, I think. Where are my commandos? I've got commandos all over the place. Missile launchers. I thought I had a lot of commandos. Not as many commandos as I thought. Two. Two hundred and thirty-three. Running out of soldiers. What's my, uh... What are my numbers? Budget wise. Career soldiers. We still have 1.2 million soldiers. Where are they? Um, commandos. We are. Looks like we're spent on commandos. Damn. Can I get 5,000 commandos? Order up 5,000 commandos. 100,000 infantry. Let's just begin advancing columns of 100,000 infantry towards Islamabad. Let's send some tanks down the way, too. Okay. Click. Click, 
click, click. Never mind. All right, that was annoying. <laughs> Uh, 95 commandos. Nah, not gonna bother. They are just, they're attacking in like small groups. Ten tanks. That's what's getting me. I can't can't keep track of the smaller groups. Smaller groupings are killing me. I just have to pause the game and work my way through it, I guess. Sorry for the tediousness. And I did click on that. Target. Ten tanks. Good, thank you. I don't know where they went. There's a hundred thousand troops. Ninety-five, ten, six. We gotta get this hundred thousand troop column moving a little quicker. Still should have a large number of soldiers somewhere around it. Islamabad. Lots of groupings here. And they're moving in 100 at a time. Fighting has gone in our favor, but the balance of power is nowhere near our favor. They've got too many guys protecting it now. Way too many guys. Wow. Yeah, we're getting overrun. Oh my god. They've got troops in the city. What are the numbers here? Numbers killed. India out of combat. Pakistan only has 11,000 left, it looks like. Is that what my... Yeah, only 11,000. Okay. I was supposed to have 64,000 somewhere. Short of a miracle, the war is lost. I suggest you order... No. Massive desertion. A rebel movement is spreading within the army, and there are massive desertions in all. All right, I guess I could sign a uh, peace treaty with Afghanistan. We don't want massive desertions. Uh, that would be under military operation. Propose peace treaty to no, 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 no. to a country, Afghanistan, and I will pay you hundred thousand. End that treaty. End that conflict. They used a diplomatic plane to fly to an unknown destination. I don't know what that means. Government collapse. What? 
We were winning that war. Refuse. After their incursion. And I might as well propose a peace treaty with the Mujahideen too. There's really no reason to continue to fight them. Alright, so I gotta get out of that Afghan war. Because we will win the Pakistani war if they allow us to keep fighting. Hmm. These helicopters are doing pretty good. Oh, boys did a good. Ch good job. Let's engage some more helicopters. Twelve hundred. Uh, against. Rejection. There's our one veto. How many more troops do they have? Alright, peace treaty with Afghanistan has been accepted. Very good. Peace treaty. What? That must have been peace treaty with Mujahideen. Refuse. Showed up at the festival. There's a mole in the government, Minister of Energy. Tanks have arrived. They seem to have guys guarding every entry. I gotta give some time for them to get into the city. There's our 100,000 troops. That should, those guys should uh, finish the job, hopefully. Alright, looks like we're back in good relations with Afghanistan, but I am... What the heck? Law on... The bill has been voted on, and the law has been passed. Beautiful. That law passes, gets us back into the, the 90s in popularity. And there's some terrorist groups coming. I don't have time to worry about that right now. 96 fighters still operational. Looks like our helicopters are dominating the area. 28 more helicopters, let's deploy them. They got those guys. They want a uh, peace treaty. No, 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 no. Not gonna happen, Afghan or Pakistan. We're taking you over and we're annexing you this time. Law on the income tax. The bill tax has been voted on and the And that gets us back up to 100 purchasing power. That might stimulate the economy actually. We'll have to check on our inflation. Speaking of which, kind of went back up a little bit. Take them out. A lot of fighting here in the south. 30 helicopters. Terrorism and deaths abroad. 
51 helicopters. Helicopters. 51. I got those tanks. More tanks keep popping up. Good. We got that fifteen hundred. Take out those twenty two. Eight tanks down there. Two tanks right there. Okay, pretty intense. Now we're deploying our 100,000 troop column into the city. Oh, no, I don't want to take them out. There are so many of them. We don't need so many fighters either. I gotta buy more missiles probably. Six. I need more helicopters in the air, I think. Oh wow. This is crazy. I hope this is entertaining. There's another column of 100,000 troops. I'm just trying to keep up here. All the different groups that are being sent against me. Give me a big one. No, no, no. 11 tanks. 300 fighters, even these helicopters. Definitely need more helicopters out here. Breach of treaties with North Korea. Whatever. North Korea declaring war on me. That's like out of nowhere. Uh, North Korea and Pakistan forge an alliance. Well, that's not going to help them very much, I don't think. Staff is losing patience. Salary increase requested. Let's go ahead and give everyone a quick raise. One, two, three, four, five, six. 2.7 billion. That should help everybody out. We're at 100% popularity again. Regression. Offensive strategy concerning North Korea. This country's armed forces are counterattacking. No, do not, do not touch North Korea. Okay. My god, all these small units. Those are refugees. Alright. If I can get as many as possible. Trying to figure out which is the best one to hit. That one. Helicopters. Take the lead there. That looks like a lot of guys. There should be more helicopters out there. I think I need to get my tanks deployed. Where are my tanks? 14 tanks. 267 tanks, that's what I'm talking about. Security, health, education, etc, etc. Balance of power seems to be turning. I don't see too many more of their guys. 
Let's go for the bunker. Let's go to Action Square there. Take the bank. Take the police headquarters. Take the parliament building. Take that. Just gonna capture every building real quick. I don't see any more of their guys. I think we wiped out almost all their guys. Oh, a bunch just left there. Okay, I gave you an order to go into there. Do it! Listen to me! So I did tell these people to like do stuff and then they didn't do it. I love when that happens. That's my favorite part of the game. Back up. Alright, we just lost a whole bunch. Oh man, this is tedious. And I think I've gone for another 30 40 minutes here. So I'm gonna take a break. Uh, hope you've enjoyed, um, again, um, I'm going to be live streaming on, uh, Twitch now with my channel, not Geopolitical Simulator 4, because, uh, that's not acceptable with Twitch for some reason, um, but, uh, other games like Hearts of Iron, Total War Empire, and, um, Out of the Park Baseball, I've been live streaming with those. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday nights, uh, 6 to 10 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, if there's any games you'd like to see me live stream on Twitch, please feel free to comment down below. And if you could follow me on Twitch, I'd really appreciate it. If you're a Twitch, if you watch Twitch. Um, also, I have set up a Twitter account to tweet when I'll be posting videos and when I will be um, live streaming uh, on Twitch as well as on YouTube. I'll be live streaming Sunday mornings. 10 to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's going to be a Democracy 3 series on Socialist Italy. I just got a whole bunch of new downloadable content uh, gifted to me from one of my Patreons, the uh, uh, gentleman Ghostronaut. Thank you for the, thank you again for the uh, for the gifts for I think it was social engineering, electioneering, extremism, and clones and drones. All those were added to my Democracy 3, and they'll all be in my uh, live stream series on Sunday mornings. Uh, also, we'll have a Total War Empire series on Prussia coming, uh, developing pretty soon. I'm uh, about ready to start that one. And another game on World War One, a grand strategy game on World War One, Making History of the Great War. So those are all, and that was uh, gifted to me by uh, another Patreon, Eddie Giles. So thanks again for all the gifts, Patreons. Uh, you can support me on Patreon in the link down in the description. And I think that's all the channel announcements I can cover for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode.